All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone that taught us this truth, and salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Bahashem is in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ and Jehovah. The Rakakwadash, which is the Holy Spirit. I'm the brother Iwa Lumia from the GMS Chicago branch out here in Chicago. Come back at you with another lesson. And Lord willing, I hope this lesson be edifying, you know, to whoever it may reach. And I'm going to just basically uh, the, entitle this lesson, you know, pride can lead to your destruction. You know, but I'm going to just jump straight into it because, you know, it's a lot of men, you know, uh, that ultimately, you know, talking about fallouts, you know, talking about these other camps, you know, things like that in general, you know, pride, you know, will ultimately lead to your downfall. You know, you have this uh, uh, Bishop Nathaniel, you know, of the IUIC, you know, they just recently had their Passover, which is off, you know, because what we the Passover was was uh, a month ago at this point, And they had theirs, what, a, a whole month later. But, you know, that's besides the point. But, um, you know, how this guy came in, you know, on the horse, you know, basically lifting and boasting himself up like he's somebody, you know. Not knowing that, yeah, how about Shemiah Osha could take us out at any time? You know, talking about the fallouts, you know, how ultimately what they, you know, they, you know, gets a sense of pride and they ultimately change the doctrine up and things of that nature, you know. But I just want to jump into it. It's the book of Sirach, better known as Ecclesiasticus 10 and 12. It says, the beginning of pride is one departed from Yahweh and his heart, which is your mind, is turned away from its maker. And right, that's what happened to a lot of these fallouts also. You know, they gain, uh, you know, they gain a sense of pride. You know, the things that they were taught, you know, they disregard it. You know, they started calling on other names. You know, they drift more and more from you. How about Shemiah and Shine? That's what pride can do to a man, you know? Meaning what? That pride can ultimately lead to your downfall, you know, over time, you know? That's why the scriptures say, you know, uh, constantly examine yourself, you know? But let's continue. Let's get this. It's the book of Proverbs 16 and 18. It says, pride go up before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. Right. So when a certain individual gets that pride, ultimately what? Their downfall is soon, you know, uh, to come after. You know, and, uh, you know, something that I can really think of, you know, from the top of my head. You know, you had this, uh, I forget his name, but you had this northern kid, the boxer. You know, he was talking, he was talking mad shit. You know, he was uh, boasting himself. And ultimately when he had his fight, you know, he got hit. You know, uh, in the head, and ultimately he became what? You know, brain dead. You know, you know, not brain dead, but um, you know, basically, you know, a, a part of his brain, you know, it's not active, or the case may be, you know, I forget the box's name, but ultimately, what when he was talking shit and things like that, it ultimately led to his downfall. You know, but ultimately, you know, you can't be, we can't be prideful in this thing. You know, we have nothing to be prideful of. You know. We're all sinners, you know, our righteousness as uh, as a filthy rags. You know, let's get that. Let's get, uh, yep. Romans 3.23, it says, for, uh, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahweh. Right, we have all sinned, you know. We have all did things worthy of death, you know, uh, in our several lifetimes. You know, not this only, not only this lifetime, but several lifetimes. So it's nothing to boast ourselves about or anything like that, you know, because at the end of the day, we're sinners. You know, we're nobody at the end of the day. You know, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh you know, can wipe your ass out. But that's going into the mercies of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh you know. But ultimately, we have nothing to be, you know, prideful about. This is the book of Isaiah 64 and 6. It says, but we are all as unclean thing and all our righteousness are, uh, are as filthy rags and we all do fade as a leaf and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away right and i did a lesson uh you know uh what was that uh yesterday or during the time i was recording this uh this lesson you know talking about the flesh and things like that we're all in the flesh ultimately you know and we all you know are uh, subject to uh, unto sin you know us being in this wicked flesh you know just another factor of us, you know, not, you know, uh, being prideful. Because like I said, as I read, you know, all of, you know, all have sinned and come, uh, you know, we're, ultimately we're not worthy, you know, because all of us have sinned at the end, of the, uh, the end of the day. You know, we have nothing to be prideful about. And as it says in this Isaiah 64 and 6, uh, righteousness are as filthy rags, right? We can never get it right. 
and you got some guys, you know, uh, boasting, you know, sticking their chest out like they're somebody, you know, you know, we're all worthy of death at the end of the day, you know. You know, we're here to glorify you. How about Shimmy Awasha? You know, not to boast up, you know, boast up ourselves, you know, but let's get an account of, you know, you know, of uh, somebody that's prideful and a person that's showing uh, being humble. It says Luke 18 and 10. It says two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee, right? The Pharisee are the law keepers. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican, right? Uh, tax collectors. That's who the publicans are. Let's go to verse 11. It says the Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. Yahweh, I thank thee that I am not as other men or extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. Right. Because, you know, something about the uh, the Pharisees also, they were hypocrites, you know, you know, uh, they was, you know, getting on somebody else. But at the same time, you know, they weren't uh, keeping the laws 100 percent, you know, that's who the Pharisees were, you know. It says, um, the Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. Yeah, how I thank thee that I am not as other men, right? Him showing a sense of pride. I am not as other men are extortioners, unjust adulterers, or even as this publican. And it says, verse 12, I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess, right? So he's basically boasting, uh, boasting himself up, being prideful of what he do and what, uh, what other people don't do. And you know, that's him being this Pharisee being prideful. Verse 13, it says, And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven. Right. This the publican, you know, showing a sense of being humble, you know, being low, being meek. It says, So uh so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, You have be merciful to me, a sinner. Right. So this publican was basically, you know, saying all his faults and th different things of that nature. Cause like I brought out, you know, uh, that, that scripture, you know, all have sinned, you know, uh, you know, basically, uh, fell short, fell short of the glory of Yahweh Shai. You know, we have all sinned, and this what this public, you know, is basically showing that he, you know, that he's a sinner, that he fucked up. You know, this him being humble, you know. And it says, verse fourteen, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone that exalted himself shall be abased. And he that humble of himself shall be exalted. Right. So if you ultimately exalt yourself, the Lord go, you know, bring your ass down. But ultimately, if you uh, humble yourself, the Lord is going to exalt you in due time, you know, and that comes with being humble, being meek, being low, you know, and I'm going to close out with that Matthew five and five. But let's get this real quick. This is the book of second address eight of 50. It says for many great miseries shall be done to them. Then in later time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And the world is very prideful, you know, in this stage in the game. You know, these bitches are prideful. You know, these niggas are prideful. You know, different things of that nature. And the Lord is going to cut all it. You know, the Lord is going to cut this shit down. You know, a lot of, you know, the Lord is going to, you know, bring these people down to where they, you know, rightfully should be at the bottom. You know, because pride can only bring you some, uh, you know, these are people, you know, these people exalting themselves. Like I said, yeah, how about Shemel Shai is going to cut these niggas down? But pride ultimately can get you so far because what? The Lord is ultimately going to cut your ass down, you know? And that's what we're seeing right now. A lot of these benefits are being taken away from these people, you know? A lot of these, you know, even when these bitches is homeless, these niggas are homeless, they still fucking prideful. That's the thing, you know? That's why, yeah, how about Shemel Shai is from the latest shit, you know, to waste, you know, two thirds of you niggas and you bitches, you know. And the world is very prideful. This is the book of Matthew five and five, because ultimately, how about Shemuel Shai is dwelling with the humble. The Lord is dwelling with the meek. This is the book of Matthew five and five. It says, "Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth." And ultimately, that's the spirit that the elect is coming in, humble, meek, and low. You know, and that's who the Lord is ultimately dealing with. The Lord is not dealing with you niggas, man. You prideful ass niggas. You know? So with that being said, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to end up by giving our praises on the glory too. Yeah, how about Shemi Hawashai by Shemra Kakwarash? That one to the elders and our apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth and salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying until next time. Wa Ababa Shalom.